I leave you with Henry David Thoreau's words. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. We should lose you! for a living. They chase. I study. Watch out! And it was close. Dude, my arm hurts. All the warning silence are down. If a tornado's coming your way, you're not gonna know it. Hey, guys, it's splitting. There's another one. There's three. Four. They're everywhere. Hey, guys! Oh, my God! I study storms all my life. And this one is bigger than any storm that has ever been. Can you imagine the pitch meeting for this movie? Wait for it, the wind is evil. I mean, talk about scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to villains. And perhaps this wind is misunderstood, which also seems to be a common trend with villains these days. And doesn't the wind really seem to have a personal vendetta in this movie? It's like, you'd think one character might turn to the other and say, we never should have ticked off the wind like this. I mean, I just think it's almost comical. Uh, but that said, while this does seem like a very silly movie, it seemed like maybe a mindlessly fun silly movie? I don't know. I kind of was intrigued by it. Uh, of course, Twister made a lot of money back in the day, so why not Into the Storm, which is a uh, twister for today's audiences who aren't impressed by just merely a flying cow. I mean, some of the special effects shots here are pretty good. I liked the helicopter coming down. Uh, you know, the showing the mass destruction was interesting. And as I said when the first, you know, teaser trailer for this came out, we've been having some freaky weather lately, so I'm not totally against the idea that this might happen, you know. Although I, I continue to be really concerned about, you know, the heartland of America and, you know, you'd think more, you know, more shelters w would be built. I mean, obviously I don't live there. I can't speak to the safety measures that are taken. Uh, but, you know, when America was very or more so concerned about nukes and it was more of a possibility that one would be dropped, lots of bomb shelters were always uh, set up and built. I don't know how effective they would have been, but they existed. Uh, but, you know, I don't understand. I guess what, what, why that bothers me is when I was watching this trailer, I was like, why would you guys all hide in the hallways? Doesn't the school have a basement? Go in the basement. Although I don't live in tornado country, maybe there's a reason you don't go in the basement? I'm not sure. But anyway, as I said, the special effects look interesting, and you know, in a, in a world where Sharknado does pretty well, but maybe this just isn't silly enough, right? Maybe Sharknado goes the distance that's necessary. Uh, also, what else I liked about this was Richard Armitage. You know, that's Thor and Oakenshield you're looking at, the teacher there who has to go find his, uh, his son. Uh, I think that's interesting to see him out of makeup. He's actually a very popular actor on, uh, I believe, the BBC. Uh, I think he was in a show called North and South, but, you know, he's kind of like the more recent version of Colin Firth, who, of course, uh, was successful because of his turn in Pride and Prejudice. He's still known as Mr. Darcy to this day, uh, although I don't think, uh, you know, uh, Richard Armitage is, is quite as uh, uh, iconic in terms of the BBC television landscape. But still, 
he has his fandom. So I'll be interested to see if they turn up for this movie, and at least he's continuing to work, and this does seem to be a lead role. Uh, also, he has a very similar look to Hugh Jackman, I feel. Uh, so Hugh Jackman should uh, keep an eye on Richard Armitage and make sure he doesn't sneak up on him. Although Hugh Jackman's doing just fine these days, thanks to uh, X-Men Days of Future Past and the upcoming Peter Pan film. But as I said, it seems a little silly. It seems like the wind has a personal vendetta. It's like they, we have the wind sun, you know, one of those cliches. And it seems like a very cliche movie. But it looks like a good special effects reel, and sometimes those are fun to watch. And again, kudos to Richard Armitage for continuing to work. So I'm curious, what do you think? Is this just a harmless, silly, fun summer movie? Or is it damaging the fabric of society as we know it because it's just contributing to Hollywood's output of crap? Where do you stand? Harmless or dangerous? Uh, write your thoughts down below. And also, do you think Wind makes a compelling villain? I thought, you know, I was having such a fun time with this uh, when I was... Um, Walking home, I was like, wouldn't it be funny, I was thinking, it, from, the, from I saw this in front of Transformers last night, wouldn't it be funny if, like, for the epilogue, the fan, the, you know, um, uh, Richard Armitage thinks he's beaten the wind, but then there's a slight breeze, and you know it's coming back for a sequel. Uh, just so much fun that you can have with it. Uh, so maybe some comedians will, uh, you know, SNL and stuff will take a run at it. They don't do as much of that kind of humor anymore, which I really miss. All right, so anyway, uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you for humoring my uh, humorous reaction to this movie, and uh, you can check out some more episodes right now.